Word of Angels is actually from uh, Psalm 78, the ESV translation. And the writer is writing about manna. And he's talking about the reality that when the Israelites fled from Egypt, for over 40 years, they lived in the wilderness, which meant they couldn't harvest, they couldn't plant. They didn't have a secure way of knowing that they would have food. And into the midst of that uncertainty and really fear of hunger, God poured out this miraculous substance called manna. Every morning they would go and they would gather it and they would make bread. The only day that manna was not given was on the Sabbath. And on the day before the Sabbath, they were allowed to uh, collect twice as much manna so that it would last also for the next day. But on any other day, if they collected more than they needed for that day, the extra manna would go bad. Manna is all about trust. Trust for daily provision, which is something Lydia has to learn, which is something all our hearts really need to learn. Trust not only for the provision for our basic needs, our food and our shelter, uh, am I going to have enough money to pay the rent, to take care of our health, to take care of my kids' education, but also trust for my emotional needs. In my loneliness, am I going to trust God to provide those I need? Uh, in my uh, quiet times, when the terror of the night comes against me, am I going to tr trust God to shelter me and shield me from the things I'm afraid of or to provide for me in the midst of them. The way in uh, Psalm 78 manna is translated is bread of angels. And I had to ask myself, do angels eat? Do they eat bread? Do they eat manna in heaven? And I really had to come to the conclusion that I didn't think angels ate because they're supposed to be these spiritual beings. So I thought, the angels feed on that level of trust. Every day they recognize, I can trust the universe into the Father's hand, that He will hold it all together and ultimately His plans shall come to pass for humanity and for the world at large. And that is what fills an angel's hunger. And that is what fe feeds our hunger too.